Ilovo is Africa's biggest sugar producer with a market cap of 13.9 billion rand. It has extensive agricultural and manufacturing operations in six African countries and produces raw and refined sugar from the European Union and the U.S. Ilovo is 51.5% owned by Associated British Foods. It has a price to earnings ratio of 25 and a dividend yield of 2.2%. Now looking at such high dividend yields, sitting mm. at 25, is that a company that you'll be getting into right Quite now? Quite common when you've mm. got companies that are owned, as you say there, by a foreign uh, shareholder that they like to suck out the high dividends because they're looking to get the money back that they paid for buying it. But Ilovo, interesting company, the big operations are Malawi, where they own a big controlling interest in the Malawi Sugar Company. Big estates on the side of Lake Malawi as you drive up from the north from Lilongwe. And then other operations in Zambia, the huge Kafui River pumps water straight out onto the you know, cane fields that they've developed there. So big operations. The reason ABF bought it is because that gives them preferential access to Europe. So that's why the margins are high, as Daniel says. So it's a nice little company. The only problem is, again, weather-related issues and the fact that you've got this big foreign shareholder that may not have the same interests as you. So for me, again, I'm not all that keen on agricultural companies, so I'm going to go with not hot, mm -hmm. but it is a nice little operation. I'll give them that. Great. Ilova has recently pulled out of uh, mm. Mali, Mali, that whole uh, sugar project worth $2.6 billion. Uh, yes, due to political upheaval. Mm -hmm. So once again, any move into Africa for all these companies where Africa is the cha-ching word mm -hmm. is not a slam dunk. Mm -hmm. And this is the best example. There's issues and once there's issues that cannot be overcome, you have to pull out and you forego your investments in that space. So would you be hot or not on this one? So, so Ilovo's answer to Tongat, Mozambique mm -hmm. and Zimbabwe is they, they're, in, they're in Malawi and Zambia where they make most of, also most of their sugar profits. It's a, it's a nice operation. Uh, it's run up significantly though, and I think it's looking a bit pricey for me at these levels. Mm -hmm. So from that point of view, I'd say not. So not hot on Ilovo? You yeah, I feel bad because mm -hmm. I like the space and everybody loves Ilovo, mm -hmm. as the old joke line went from their uh, production payoff line on their ads. But I just mm -hmm. think, again, for me as a long-term investor, I don't want to ride the cycle of the weather. And I expect the weather in the forthcoming decade to be quite variable. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to okay. go with not hot on so both of them. So one hot and one <laughs> not for Ilovo.